The scientists at the symposium in Pretoria heard that new infection rates are dropping, but there are more challenges ahead. Insecticide resistance has become, in the last five years, a huge emerging problem. And if you want to control malaria or eliminate malaria, as WHO is talking about, then you need to control or get rid of the mosquitoes. If you don't whack the mosquitoes, you are not going to get rid of malaria. That's the bottom line. Could nanotechnology help? This involves hunting for the answers to life's biggest challenges by manipulating matter at the tiniest level molecules and atoms and such. While the rest of us work with millimetres or kilometres, nanoscientists deal in nanometers. Consider that a sheet of newspaper is about 100,000 nanometers thick and you get a sense of how low they go. There are several areas where nanotechnology could make a difference. Transmission blocking, new insecticides and new drug development. We can able to take those drugs that are, um, are no longer in the market, so basically called reformulation. We can bring the drugs that are, are no longer in the market back to the market by incorporating the nanotechnology. With the advantage that nanotechnology can bypass many other barriers, such as liver, uh, brain, and many other areas which malaria could be a challenge. Malaria still remains one of the big killers on the African continent, and some 80% of those 438,000 people die here every year and it appears that nanotechnology is emerging as a potential solution to this continent-wide problem. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Pretoria.